the most frequent questions that we're asked during the sales consultation process is uh, whether or not Mitsubishi systems are powered with electricity only and how they're able to be so efficient when people think of electrical heat uh, or electric heat as so inefficient. Really, I think this all starts with the fact that what we think of as electric heat is generally those little baseboards um, down near the floor of your cottage or uh, some of the homes around New England. A lot of time it's like a seasonal beach house, that sort of thing. And those are called resistance heaters or resistance baseboard heat. And those are in fact very inefficient. We've heard some stories of people uh, leaving that heat running or using that heat and ending up with electric bills, you know, uh, 600, 800, a thousand dollars. So because of inefficiencies with those baseboard electric systems, I think people expect that anything uh, heating with electricity is going to be inefficient. But really you have to understand how a heat pump works to understand why they're able to be so efficient and so effective. Let's start with resistance heat or the old school electric baseboard heaters. The basis of resistance heat is you're using amperage and resistance in the wire and in the baseboard to generate heat and you're creating that heat out of thin air. That amperage that you're using is very expensive and makes your electric meter spin round and round, which is essentially what leads to such high electric bills. The difference with a heat pump is that you're, you're not creating heat, you're, you're just moving heat from outside to inside. And it's a little bit difficult to follow and understand that there is still heat in the air, even when it's, uh, say zero degrees outside there's still some amount of heat in the air outside basically the Mitsubishi unit or any heat pump for that matter is able to use the refrigerant to steal heat from outdoors move it through the refrigerant lines and dump the uh, heat to the indoors again the main difference between the two is that electric resistance heat creates heat where a heat pump simply moves the heat and it's much more efficient to move heat than to create it from nothing. I hope that helps to clear it up for everybody why Mitsubishi hyper heat pumps and heat pumps in general are able to be so much more efficient than your standard resistance heat uh, and electric baseboard and why you don't need to be worried about high electricity bills if you decide to install one of these systems. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us or visit our website www.eastcoasthvac.com. Thanks.